evening, everybody. Hey there. Nice to see you all this evening. Welcome, my name's Sam. And I'm Heidi. And we're doing a wonderful evening of psychic art and mediumship with you this evening. It's a really exciting evening, so lovely to see everybody joining us this evening. Yes, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of reading some of the comments. There's already quite a group of people that are collecting. I'm excited. I can't see the comments. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, um, so I am going to be doing some spirit art today. I'll be doing some orographs with imagery like this or this. And I'll be doing some that just are some energy, some colors and some information that I'll be getting. And if you're interested in doing something like that, which is will be psychically connecting and bringing forward anything, go ahead and comment because I'll be picking a name that spirit draws me to to connect with. And then um, I'll be doing some spirit portraits with Sam later. We're going to team up and do some mediumship meets spirit art combos. And so I'm going to switch over to you and do some intros too. Let's go ahead. Sam. Yeah, thank you. So, so I'm going to be doing some mediumship this evening, but of course, teaming up with a wonderful Heidi as well. Um, it's going to be doing, we're going to be joining and merging our energies and and doing some spirit portraits too, which is going to be really exciting. Um, a truly international, but spirit can be around all, as all simultaneously, no matter where we are in the world. So it's going to be really wonderful tonight. So I'm really looking forward to it. Um, we will be doing some individual work as well, as well as combining our, our, our practice. That's what we're going to be doing, yeah. And um, having a lovely night. I'll, uh, I couldn't think what to call it. Eh? <laughs> okay, so should we say some hellos? Yes. Uh, so I see we've got Tina. All right. Okay, so stay, stay sure. Welcome. Stay sure. Nice to see you watching. Janine White, welcome. Heidi. Oh, yeah. Hey there, Janine. Hey, Samantha. Good to see you here. Oh, Lisa. Awesome. It's a good evening. It's actually still afternoon here. Hey there, Cheryl. Cheryl welcome. Yeah. Jed, welcome as well from the USA. <laughs> Nikki oh, hey there, well. Nikki. Nikki's in the States also. Oh, awesome. Richard, uh, Robert. Oh, lovely. He's over in Scotland on your side of the world. Excellent. Nadine, welcome as well. Looking forward to seeing you out. Yeah. It's going to be a great evening. Sherry Hicks as well. Welcome. Hey there, Casey. Lovely to see you here today. And um, Benny. Oh, awesome. Hey there. Nikki as well. Welcome. Hi. Nice to see you. Hi. <laughs> Waving hand there. And Angela Moore, welcome. Everyone's very welcome. The first time watchers as well. You're all very welcome here. <laughs> hey there, Emma in Spain. Lovely to see you. And Wendy, good, good to have you here. Saying a few hellos. Hello, Lady Sage as well. Welcome. Hey, Lady yeah. Sage. And Sally, I'm nice for you to join us too. Lovely to see you. Oh, yay. Hey there, Claire in Dundee, Scotland. Wow. Quite a few people from all over. And hey there, Jody. From London. Fantastic. Lucita, I think that's how you name Lucita Ellie. Well, lovely name. Um, welcome as well. Yeah, in New Jersey. I love it. New Jersey. <laughs> I go as far as Yorkshire and then I stop there, really. Yeah. <laughs> I'm terrible at accents. I'm terrible. Serious as well. Serious Jade. Hi. Nice to see you joining us. Hey there, Amy. You're over in the UK also. 
The beautiful whales. Oh, and we Heidi got another Spicer Heidi. Well. I've seen her a couple times on here when I've come on. She's <laughs> usually on the ones I visit. She comes to your Sam. I saw her on one of yours last time. Yeah. Love it. Great name. Great name. Not that, not that you're biased in any way. No, no. Oh, Ashley and there's Ashley. Well, welcome. Yeah, very yeah. good. First timer. Excellent. Okay. So what I do is just like when you're giving a reading, you would connect to spirit and then you see with with doing orographs, I'm connecting to the individual and anything that comes through usually starts with colors around the body. And then any imagery that comes through, I just represent it as clearly as I can. And then it's just the same as when you're giving a reading, when you're holding up the artwork and giving that out. And then it's a little bit different with the portrait where I kind of let spirit take a little bit more control and I don't get a lot of the information, which is perfect because today I'm pairing up with Sam and he's going to bring forward some of that information. So mm -hmm. I'll just bring forward the details that I get and I just try to draw them as accurately to represent what I'm offered as I can. Really? Excellent. And me as a medium, um, I, what I do is I, I literally give what I get. So, um, yeah. I've, and I often, the way I tend to work with spirit is that I do get a sense of the spirit with me in the room, although they also do merge with me very closely. Um, and I start sometimes having those mannerisms to that person too. So yeah, then that's how I work. And I use all my clothes with spirit. I don't just use one particular one. Um, it depends on the spirit um, and it depends on, on the message sometimes too. So yeah, that's how we work. So Oh, yeah, we have a stalker here. Heidi says she sounds like a stalker. <laughs> oh, I love it. And if anybody does want to be included, which means I would be drawing for you today, please comment, yes, do an orograph for me or draw some colors for me. If that's something that you're interested in or connect with, then just go ahead and comment that and he'll be posting those for me to let us know which ones I can work with. <laughs> And what I'm going to do is I'm going to be working the normal traditional way I work with spirit is I'm just going to be connecting to the spirit that I have with me. And then we're going to be finding who that's for and then connecting them up and giving the message like that. So that's the plan. It's a very exciting little evening. Um, really looking forward to it. So what we're going to do to begin with is, is before I start working, Heidi, you want to find someone to connect to to start a yes, initial piece uh... of work. And then I'm going to then bring through a spirit and we're going to find who that is then for and then after I've given my message you'll then give what you've drawn for that other person you've connected to is that right that sounds awesome you'd have thought we'd rehearse this everyone wouldn't you eh? <laughs> okay then so um I'll hand you over to you Heidi to see who you're drawn to okay yes I've got Jade that's perfect and I'm going to go ahead and start working on that, and then I'll leave you to it, Sam. Okay, so I'm going to, as J as um, Heidi starts working with Jade, I'm just going to give uh, what I'm getting now in terms of a spirit that I'm aware of, and I am aware of a spirit. Um, oh, yes. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, so, so um, Jade's just moved, sorry, Heidi is just moving her camera down so that everyone can see her drawing. Um, the the connection she had with Jed, and I'm actually giving a reading now from another spirit. So do listen out in chat if you can take what I'm giving. Um, let us know um, you can take it and what you can take. Um, do remember this is a public forum too, so be very aware of that. Um, but I always work with with from love of spirit. So um, just be please just know it's a public forum. So okay, so um. As I connect, I do have a male energy with me. I'm aware of this man, a lovely gentleman he is. I'm aware of actually dark, curly sort of hair. This man definitely has some sort of curls in his hair. Um, he's a very, he's a very lovely man. I'm de definitely aware of his gentle eyes. I also feel I'm sensing glasses as well on my face with this man. Um, he's, I do feel that he, he, he's. He seems to be looking down at the moment. So I feel um, when, I, when I'm aware of him looking down, I just feel it's him showing how sort of gently, gentle this man was. He wasn't a 
it wouldn't go into a place and cause chaos. I do sense this very calm gentleman um, looking down. He's, he's, he's just got these, I almost feel I want to say sort of bags under his eyes a little bit uh, with this gentleman too. Um, I'm aware of when I'm connected to this gentleman too, just of, I get this strong sense of him really just, there's a, a sense of close connection to someone with this man. Um, so I just, I just, um, okay. So Linda's saying it sounds like your father. Okay. Um, I am aware in terms of what he's wearing at the moment. Um, he's wearing, I am sensing sort of trousers and a, and a buttoned shirt. I'm feeling I'm, it's a white buttoned shirt. Um, and his trousers are, are just like the darkish color of the trousers that he's wearing. I do feel that this this man that I have with me gave, gave a lot of advice in his younger years, okay? So I'm feeling that, that you you went to this person for a lot of advice. Um, okay, so I do feel I might be with you, Linda, okay? So I'm just going to keep working with you, Linda, at the moment. Um, I strongly sense this, this, this him giving you advice on particular things and... And you really listening to his words. I'm just connecting more with him and just getting some more information too. There's a connection to April as well. Um, and when I when I'm connected to April, I'm feeling I want to say like around like April the 17th, I'm being drawn to um, with this man. Also as well. I do feel the sense of you taking care of this man when he passed, because um, I I feel is the sense of you going back to this this man and making sure that he's being cared for and and being looked after. Let me just get some more information. I'm also sensing with this with this man, there's I'm aware of holidays. Okay, so this so there's this twenty seven. Okay, thank you for that. Um there's a sense there's there's a memory of holidays with this man as well. Um I'm just connecting to him a bit more. So there's definitely a memory of of, um, of holidays coming forward. So yes, you did look after him. Okay, thank you for that. Um, there's definitely some time spent away with some good memories as well, because I'm seeing. I just feel like it's. I am drawn to like the coast or the sea with this with this place where you would have gone on holiday too. It does feel like seaside ish. That, that this place that you would have gone on holiday too. I almost can smell that, that salty air, you know. Um, I also feel as well, I'm just asking him about some different things. Wow. Okay, so as I also connect to him, I'm just finding out who else he's with. Um, I don't feel he's on his own over there. I've, I do feel he's with other spirit over there. He's not on his own at all. Um, let me just get some more information. Okay, so yeah, he's saying he loved to see love. Thank you. What I'm sensing, I'm sensing a strong connection between him and his wife is what I'm sensing. Um, but 
I just get this sense of closeness that they had together, and I feel that when I'm just connecting to them, I just get my information. I'm actually seeing him with his, his arm around his wife now at the moment. Um, strong, I just get a strong sense of him with his arm around his wife. So I don't know whether his wife is in spirit too, but I feel that they're definitely close. He's showing that they are very close. Um, he's showing that that connection is, is there. Also, as I'm connecting to him, I'm just trying to get some more information about particular particular items of things that he used to be connected to. I am drawn to, yeah, your mum is in spirit. They were very close. Okay, thank you for that. Because I'm aware of his arm around his, his wife, you know, and they're very close, you know. Um, also, as I'm connecting to those two energies together, um, it does feel I'm very, getting a very gentle energy off your, your mum. Um, so I feel that your mum, she was a very gentle lady. Um, I'm also aware of a, of a, like a cream top that this lady's wearing, okay? Like a lovely cream top. Um, and I'm seeing, I'm actually seeing a pearl necklace with this lady as well. And I think you may have a picture of her. I'm feeling her hair is, is a, I'm seeing in this picture, like thinnish. I don't think she had very thick hair, but I'm seeing sort of thinnish hair and her wearing pearls. I'm seeing her wearing. And I just get the sense of her saying, I love you, my dear, okay? She says that to you, uh, I love you. Let me just get some. Okay, I do feel as well that you're, you're. Okay, she's not close, okay. Um, I get. I was just getting from your dad then. I feel that your dad actually went to a grammar school because he was suddenly showing me for some reason like a grammar school um, and a connection. Now, this actually might be you that went to a grammar school, but I'm feeling that I just need to give you a grammar school that came forward. And I was seeing uh, like a red brick school that came forward with him. Um, it feels like it was like a Victorian building. Um, okay, thank you for that. I'm just seeing this, I'm aware of this like red brick school. So I don't know whether you can take this as a previous school that you went to, but it might have been also one that he went to. I'm just aware of this like red brick school and I feel one of the entrances has got like this brick archway to it sort of. Um, I'm just seeing that building now. I can only feel that he's bringing that forward because, because he actually in, quite enjoyed grammar school. I think as a as a young child, um, are you okay? So you can take that lovely. Um, I'm just aware of this brick archway, so I don't know whether you can actually take that as the actual school that you went to, uh, but I am seeing this particular sort of lovely sort of brick doorway entrance, you know. Um, so, as I'm aware that they're coming forward, I just want to get the messages from, from them, okay? So first of all, um, okay, thank you for that, Linda. Yeah. I do feel with, with him as he's coming forward, he's coming to give you a lot of love and to know that he's around you with lots of love. Um, he's He's got... Lots of, he really, I, I feel he wants, he's coming around you to give you a bit of strength as well, because I'm feeling that there's obviously been something going around you where you've been needing a bit of energy, because I get this sense of him being around you um, to give you that energy. Um, 
Your mum is more in the background, but you do need to know that there is love coming from your mum. Now, I appreciate you had a hard relationship with her on earth, but as she's passed into spirit, there's almost like, I do feel there's been a learning on, on her side as she's passed into spirit. And I do get this sense of her really saying sorry to you, you know, um, apologising and... and recognising that, that she gave you a very hard time when she was on Earth, okay? And know that, know that your, your, your dad and mum, they are both around you, but know that your dad really, you can always talk to, you can talk to them both, but you can know that they're around you with their beautiful energy and, and they really want to see you be happy you know that they want the best for you um they definitely want in the best for you as i'm connecting to them and there's lots just love coming coming for you okay so i'm going to leave that with love and light okay i'm pleased that helped you then and you take care okay you leave that with love and light you take care linda and i'll hand you back to heidi to um to talk us through lovely jade yes jade so i've got you here and i do just like sam does it's the same thing as giving everything you get and just paying extra attention to colors like immediately when i connected to you i felt this red energy rising and i felt this blue light around you <clears throat> And I see that um, that then came like it was almost coming up like a channel. And I knew that it was rising, so I drew some arrows. And then this felt like, you know, where I would have drawn, you know, this kind of body coming up. It felt like a hill, like I was going up this hill and going down this hill. And but then it also had this feel like a volcano. So I wrote the word erupting, like this energy. And it felt very much like grounding self, this way that you're connecting to self where it's like it's almost just like rising up on its own. Um, I can feel that there's some frustration. I can feel that it's got that heat, like anger, but not anger. It's that momentum, and it's pushing it up, and it brought this lovely kind of pastel -y pinks and this red flushing to the face. I then felt this light come in around you. And it's these two distinct types of blue. I've got this very airy blue that feels like it's got to do with healing. It also feels like it's very much like someone that was close to you. And that's going to come back to this little imagery of this that flew up later. But this blue came in and it came across all the way around you. And then it almost was like swooping across the face. You see this where it's like actually swooping across the face almost like feeling a cool wind coming across you and this feels very different than this blue that's towards the outside you can see that it's a deeper blue it's got a lot more purple it has this kind of cobalt feel to it and I feel like this has a lot to do with emotions that are coming very close to you that you're working through that you're processing that are coming through like waves that are coming through like um, these winds across the face. I also felt that this darker blue on the outside has to do with something that you're working with, with protection, with energy that you're bringing to the outside of yourself, that you're bringing to the outside of that aura. I got this chain over here that it was like a gold chain and I got that it's breaking that this chain was breaking or chains being broken and then i got these three little red balls in the air and it was like you were juggling these three red balls and it goes like around and around just like i see again with this movement up and down the hill so there's something with these three red balls that are connecting with this frustration with this energy of self that feels committed to a big part of who you are, but also with the way that all of this is moving, where you've got a lot going on. I got the word self-care down here. So I know that whatever you're doing, it has a lot to do with putting those energies out 
and I got the words taking more for you, those specific words taking more for you. And this was said like a voice, like we talk about different clairs, like Sam talked about using these different clairs. Well, this was spoken like the words being said. So if that sounds familiar in the wording, and then I got this bird that flew up just a common little brown bird flying overhead and it had the same colors of the blue around the bird it felt like this was connected to you that this connects to a lot of who you are how you are that type of healing nature was also a part of this individual and there's something about seeing a bird flying overhead just common birds these were not special like an eagle or a but this was just seeing that bird flying overhead made me feel like i was connected to that spirit to that person that you resonate with and there's this other telling with this coming up last that it brings me back to this way that all this energy is moving around you how you're feeling how these emotions are coming at you that that's this reminder from spirit that you're taking notice of these things that these connections just like you're feeling them are being shown to you that if any of this is resonating and how it's resonating that this is offered just like a reading like sam just gave just with images i also got the word begin so if okay so that would be what I got for that reading. And if there's anyone else that would like an orograph, just go ahead and comment. And we'll go ahead and I'll just start on another one. Should we do it? Should we try a joint one now? Let's do it. All right, joint one. Okay, so. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so just, okay, so I'll say a few more hellos, everybody. So let's say some hellos for you. Who else is watching? Hiya, Jana, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Oh, thank you for that lovely comment as well. Beautiful souls in here. Yeah, you all, you guys in the chat are beautiful souls as well. Terry Wall, thank you very much. Wonderful Terry, she does such great work as well. Um, good evening, Terry. Nice to join us as well. Welcome. Oh, thank you. That's good with that, isn't it? Elizabeth Kennedy, thank you for that lovely flower. Yeah, beautiful. I also love that profile picture with all those lovely lights around as well. It's nice, that too. And Natasha, welcome. Excellent. I'm pleased you're enjoying the programme. Um, this is the first time me and Heidi have worked together. I'm absolutely loving it. So it's lovely to see everybody in the chat watching, all those first-time people, but all those regulars too. Tina, welcome as well. Hello. Thank you for joining us. That's no, okay. We're just fixing the, the camera so you guys can see all Heidi's work well. Reese, yeah, thank you for that lovely comment. Amazing work. Yeah. And then it keeps taking it off. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> We're just trying to sort the cameras out, everybody, in case you're wondering what's happening, just so you can all see the lovely work of Heidi and everything. Hi, Sarah, welcome from Devon. Fantastic. Lovely Devon. There we go. And Marie, welcome. Oh, you're Is that first good? time. Excellent. Perfect. Yes. Okay. Good deal. Yes. Thank you. Excellent stuff, sir. So what we're going to do now is we're going to try a double connection. So um, this is a beauty of spirit um, working collectively with, with us all together. So then what we'll do is we'll, I'll start connecting to a spirit and Heidi, you, I guess, try to tap into that, to that spirit as well. Should we try yeah. it like that? Yes. Yeah. And then we'll go from there, really. Um, okay, then, so I'm just... Actually, spirit. I can definitely feel spirit right now. In fact, the energy is very high at the moment. I can definitely feel lots of energy going on. And I'm just 
Asking out for a spirit to come forward. Just asking for a spirit to come forward. I'm aware. I do say female is coming forward right now. A female energy is coming forward at the moment. Um, with this with this particular lady that I've got coming forward, I am feeling she's she's an older lady she's showing herself as. Um, let me just get some more details from her. I'm feeling that this lady too, I'm feeling quite a, a bit of a dominant energy with her. So I feel that this lady wouldn't have been afraid to share her mind. Um, in that sense, I feel we've got quite a, a, a dominant lady that would have um, put things straight if they were straight. Um, yeah, I definitely get this sense of her not being afraid to, to put me right. <laughs> um, as I'm connecting to her as well, um, I do feel she... She's definitely showing an older age right now. She's showing a little bit below average height. I am aware of her, the fact that she's, I do feel she would have almost worn her hair tied back um, a bit as well. I'm just, cause I'm just aware of, of wanting to tie her hair back. I don't know whether you're, do say anything if you ever want to, to share about what you're connecting to Heidi. Yes, I'm getting the hair tied back and I'm getting these kind of wisps at the front of the face. Okay, yeah, lovely. So, I also, with this lady too, I am kind of like drawn to her eyes as well. I'm just getting this sense of quite sort of piercing eyes almost, I need to say. Um, you know, definitely sort of like would look at you quite intently you know and, and very directly very direct she is a very direct lady um let me just get some more details off this lady now the month of february has come forward as well connected to the person who this, oh, Karen, excellent. So I've got the month of February as well coming forward, related, connected to this lady, and, and June has come forward as well. So February and June um, has come forward, been, been months that are linked. Claire, let me get some more details off of there too. Um, I almost feel that this, this lady's got, got quite a sort of teacher presence uh, about her um, because I do feel it's, I do feel she may well have been involved in some form of teaching in the past because it's this sort of directness and instruction that I feel I'm getting off her. Um, so I feel she might have been involved in some form of teaching or training or... Um, okay, so Karen can take the ice thing as well. Um, I do feel, yeah, as in her working life, I do feel her definitely like instructing people in some way, you know, um, because that she's just got this like aura of like telling people what to do. There's no other way of putting it. Um, I just feel I'm getting this like I'm being told what to do by her almost, you know. Um, I think she was very loving. Okay. So there's a few, Karen and Claire seem to be connecting to this at the moment. Um, and Mandy too, we've got a few. Um, let me see what else is coming forward with this lady too. Okay, so, yeah, very, this is just very much putting me in my place a minute. I'm feeling with her as well that um, when you were, let's just see what the, all right, okay, so Claire seems to be, we're just feeling where we're going in a minute, I'm just going to bring some more details forward first. Okay, so as I just talked about more details, I was suddenly aware of a necklace as well. So there's a necklace connected to this lady. 
And when I look at this necklace, I'm drawn to it having a fine chain to it, a fine golden chain. And I actually feel it's like an oval locket I'm, I'm seeing with this lady. Um, like a fi I feel it has like a fine chain, a golden chain though, as well. Um, and it does feel like it might have been handed down this necklace. It's not feeling like a modern necklace. Um, it is feeling like handed down. Um, Let me just get some more information. Yeah, so we can can take all the information in the picture. That would be lovely if you could let us know if you could take everything so far. Karen has that locket, okay. Oh, it's clear, it's, it's one of these double links again, isn't it? <laughs> It's, yeah, yeah. Um, let me just keep giving you more information from what she has, okay? Because as I'm connected to Amar, I am getting more information from her, and I'm getting the sense of her being very much like, I can't think of the right word, but like self-sustained, I think that's the wrong word, but she was very much her own kind of person. She wouldn't let people tell her what to do in that sense. She was very much her own person in that sense, you know, um, and she would do whatever she. I don't get. I don't get a sense of her ever trampling down people, but I get a sense of her that she was her. You couldn't change her, you know. And um, we can never change anybody, of course. We can only ever. Um, we only ever have control of our own mind, not others. But this particular lady was very. Self-sustaining is the wrong word, but it's very self, I can't think of the words at the moment. Um, but I just need to give you that this lady very much knew her own mind in that sense. But I don't feel, even though she has this quite dominant feel to her and teachery feel, actually she did, I do feel she had a kind heart, but she just had her ways that she needed to do things, you know? Um, so I feel... Independent, that's the word, Karen. That's it. Very independent. That's right. Um, so she had her way, she needed to do things, and she that's how she would do them. Um, and I almost feel she would say that to you as well, because as I said, that's how I would do it. I always get a feel that's what she would have done. That's that's what that's what I will do. That's what I will do. I'm feeling it saying that's what I will do. You know, she never did it purposely to upset people. She did it because that's how it, she needed it doing, you know. Um, <clears throat> let me get my information too. I am aware of her. I've definitely seen her with something in her hands as well. So I definitely sense um, this sense of reading. I think she, she read quite a lot as well. Yes, um, I'm getting that I, green, that intelligence. That's yeah, definitely I'm definitely... Cute. Definitely getting feel a sense of reading, um, mm -hmm. not and just smart. for yeah, not just for like your own self learning, but I also feel I feel she liked crime novels. I feel she liked crime novels because I'm seeing a novel that um, that feels like a crime novel. So whether or not she liked the mystery and the 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 investigation into finding who it was, I think that that's what she liked um, because I just feel I'm seeing like. This a crime novel, it feels like. Um, so I need to give you that as well. She definitely had that mind of um, of a that interest in learning and give me more. I want to learn more. I want to know how. How can we find out? Investigation, you know. Um, very um, investigative mind in that sense. Okay, so it looks like. We are with Bev, doesn't it? Lovely stuff. Thank you for that, Bev. So as I say, do let us know when we're, is there anyone else that can take it still? Perfect. Yeah, I thought we had a few. I thought we had more than one, yeah. Um, Okay, so that's interesting. So, yeah, yeah. 
Okay, so we'll just we'll just keep going at the moment. At the moment, Bev is the only one taking the picture, but do let us know if you can take it or not. Um, so let's just keep going. Okay, so as I also connect to her, I need to give you Tchaikovsky, okay? Because uh, I was saying, what music do you listen to? What is it? And, and I got a sense of classical, but then I said, no, what more? Tell me more. And she gave me Tchaikovsky. So I don't know whether there was a symphony or something that Tchaikovsky wrote that was a favourite of hers, uh, but I need to give you Tchaikovsky um, because she gave me that. I can't even spell it. So she's just given me some... some Asked, she read all the crime stuff and the TV programs. Thank you very much for that. Lovely. I just got a strong sense of this crime novel. It was amazing, yeah. Um, yeah, also, yeah, I do feel she would have been listening to Tchaikovsky too. Um, I feel that she also did care about her appearance. Um, I don't think she was vain in that sense, but I think she... She liked her hair to be done and, and and up and looking nice. And I also feel as I'm connecting to this appearance of her, I'm connecting to a picture of her. Um, interestingly, it looks just like Heidi's picture, but I think you've got a photograph of her in a, in, that almost looks very similar to this picture that Heidi is drawing. Um, okay, lovely stuff, Bev, yeah. Lovely, thank you for that. I do feel that there is a picture of her looking in a very similar pose as this, but I'm seeing I'm seeing just a lovely smile on her face. Um, quite a, it's just a, she has actually a very light energy picture of her when she was younger. Okay, lovely, thank you. I'm just aware of this picture of her looking just like that, actually. Um, Also, as well, I'm connecting to. Let me just get the um, the message that that little the lady has. Okay. Very cool. So as I'm just connecting to her, um, in terms of her message, first of all, I I just get this sense of. Let me just get. What are you saying? She's saying you do not need to worry, and first of all. Um, okay, thank you for that. The link to classical music, thank you. So she, she's saying you do not need to worry to begin with. So um, in that sense, when she's saying you do not need to worry, I think there were worries around her when she passed. Um, and you need to know that she's saying to me now, do, you do not need to worry about her. Um, she is at peace now. She's actually looking very beautiful with her hair up. And and looking very elegant, actually. I do feel she's looking very elegant. Um, and she's got a lovely smile on her face. A really lovely smile on her face. She's actually just a very, in many ways, quite understated. I don't, you know, she's she's not in my face at all. She just stood very calmly and very much at peace. She, she's very, you need to know that in spirit, she's very calm and she's very much at peace and you have nothing to worry about. So I do feel you need to pass this on as well, that there's nothing to worry about with her. Um, I do feel as well that she's around you, Bev, with this lovely like energy of learning as well. Because I'm, I need to say that there's a sense of learning around you as well. So whether or not you're actually thinking about learning something at the moment or learning a new skill or doing a course of some sort or workshop, um, I do just get this sense of her um, really encouraging you to to learn more and, and follow that, that passion in your heart. Um, or she gave me the necklace before she died. Okay, lovely. I just get this sense of her really 
wanting you to do as well as you can and she's really around you with that support for you with that. She's just saying, I love you, Bev. And she's also saying, she is really saying, do, do tell the family too. So I do feel the family are really important to her. So she wants you to, to make sure that people know that she is at peace in spirit and know that she's at rest and and she's she's as happy as ever of it in spirit. She's got a beautiful smile on her face. Um, and she's just it's a lovely person to to um thank you for uh, you know for her coming forward this evening, you know. Um I definitely yeah. connected with the way that the eyes kind of had this sparkle to them. And mm. it was interesting. I saw that necklace right before you mentioned it. It was like I was connecting oh, right. to details, seeing them as you were right, right, and then you would say them. So that was really wow. interesting. Yeah, fantastic. Lovely stuff. Yeah, that's lovely. What a great picture as well. Wonderful. So, so I'm just going to let, let this lovely lady go back into spirit now that she's at peace and she's not in any pain. And you take care of her, okay, Bev? Thank you very much. Drink me orange juice. <laughs> yeah, I absolutely. Can... If someone else would like an autograph, I'll do one of those. We'll switch it up. Sam can go and then we'll do another one of these. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. So um, we're going to do a VIP right now, right? Asking for the VIP. Anyone wanting an autograph that I can post for and offer that back to you as a reading? Oh, they're all in Australia, Bev. Okay. Okay, so we're going to do a few adverts now for you now. So coming up, we have some wonderful programs coming up. We have a guided meditation with Leslie Knight, and that is tomorrow morning at 11.30 a.m. UK time, that is, of course. So do come and enjoy that. That'll be beautiful, lovely. And then we have, oh. have Around the Table. Sorry, Heidi, over to you. Oh, Around the Table with Richard and Guess. This is the one that Sam and I was on just a couple weeks ago. Yeah. ago. It is a delight with um, Richard bringing on a couple of guests, and it's a lot of fun, a lot of laughs. Everybody sitting around, making, making some jokes, talking about spirit. It's a blast. And that's tomorrow at 8 p.m. UK time. Yeah, probably grand program it is. Mm-hmm. Oh, they have a wonderful venue show as well. And that is a, a it is a, is it a, what's the actual, I can't see the Eleven's is with Deb. Eleven's is with Deb. And Deb, Deb's a wonderful medium as well. So that will be a really wonderful show. Um, one well, really not to be missed, and it's on Zoom as well. And that is 11 a.m. And, yeah, don't forget to catch that one. Elevens is with Deb on Monday. That, that'll be a wonderful show, that will. So oh, yeah. if you're around for Elevens, um, she's a wonderful medium, she is. Yeah. Yes, so I'm going to pick a VIP. I see a lot of you guys commented. Excellent. I'm so glad we have so many here today. Thank you for supporting the cause. This is one of those um, opportunities you get where we get to spoil you guys rotten. Okay, so it looks like I'm going with Cheryl. Cheryl, if you'll just stick around. Uh, there's, a few, there's a few VIPs to choose from. Oh, wow. There are quite a few. Who have you not drawn to yet? 
Well, okay, I see Tina, and I just, I got to go for her. Okay, Tina, we're going to go with you. If you'll just hang out for a little while, and I'm going to work on this for you, and I will be drawing this as Sam gives another reading now, okay? Okay, I'll do another reading then. So, so Heidi's doing, a, doing an aura. Is it an orograph it's called, Heidi? Yes, you can say an orograph or auric art, either one. So Heidi's doing an orograph for Tina, place. And then whilst Heidi's doing that, I'll be doing another reading with spirit. So listen out, everyone. This is for everyone now. You all have to listen out if you can connect to who I am um, bringing through. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to connect to spirit now. Um, bring another spirit through. Okay, so as I'm connecting to spirit, straight away I can actually feel... Well, my head's, head's not stopped going, actually. That's always my sign I'm connecting. Uh, but my head's been, been buzzing all night. The energy's really lovely and high tonight. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm a very much aware of spirit is around. I'm just inviting spirit to come forward now. And as I'm coming forward, I'm aware of a female energy. Um, with this female energy, I'm aware of long hair as well, initially, with this lady. I'm, I'm actually seeing long grey hair right now. And I'm seeing a lady that is has a little bit more weight to it as well, a little bit heavier, um, and a really lovely, kind lady this lady is, um, a very gentle lady, um, but just, I need to say, just a very kind lady. Um, I am feeling as well um, connections to, to maybe some kind of walking difficulties with this lady too, um, because I just get the feeling of when I'm connecting to her, like I want to walk a bit steady with her, I'm seeing her wearing a, a tightish top, but with a, a, a long flowing sort of cotton skirt that has some sort of check pattern on it um, at the moment. That's what I'm connecting to. Um, I'm also connecting as well with this, this lady too, with... Um, I do actually feel she had false teeth. I know that's a funny thing to bring through, but I, I just get this sense of, of false teeth that I'm getting with this lady too. So I, I feel she would have false teeth, uh, this long, long flowing skirt with this check pattern on it, uh, a tighter, uh, it feels like it's a, like a, like a darker colored top she's wearing. Um, and uh, this long gray hair as well. I'm actually sensing she would have actually had a bit of a basket too, um, one of these baskets on four wheels. So she's shown herself a lot older in life. Um, so I think she quite enjoyed. I actually feel she also had a lot of friends, this lady, because I'm sensing her enjoying being with people and going out. So even though she wasn't really, really mobile, I do feel this sense of, of her kind of like, in not stopping her, actually. It didn't stop her. Um, she would still go out all over Andrea. You you can take this so far. I, I need to say as well, when I'm connecting to this lady as well, there's this laugh that I'm getting from this lady as well. Um, or Joanne as well. So we've got a few possible connections as well tonight. So I'm very much aware when I'm connecting to this lady and I'm seeing her going out. Um, I feel it's like she would have gone out to, it feels like almost like bingo nights and, and things like this. She would have, she would have always had things to go to, uh, but I'm just getting this strong sense of her laughing as well. There's this, she's quite an interesting personality, this lady. Um, there's actually a lot of depth to her. Although I don't think she really, put it out there in that sense she was very much again she kind of she didn't really see herself um you can take everything about her john okay um i don't feel this lady saw herself as actually being important um to a lot of people and i think that's a shame but i feel like it's just for some reason she just didn't seem to see that she was important. She just got on with things. She just got on and she just went out and she just did that because why wouldn't she, you know? Um, and I feel that 
actually she had quite a lot of people that actually thought of a lot about this lady. Um, she touched a lot of people's hearts, actually, because I think that because she was just very down to earth and very grounded, I think that actually she 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 would just be quite generous, I feel, as well. Um, okay, Joanne, so you're also taking the bingo, yeah. I mean, I'm getting a strong sense of going to bingo with that, I'll be honest. I, I'm almost feeling like I want to, like, walk along next to her and go along for a night out because it does feel like she would have had these these great nights out. I think she was still talking. I think the reason why she's telling me this is that I think she would have spoken to you about it, uh, about what happened. Um, She wasn't loved by her family. We all okay. I am with you, Joanne. I do feel. Um, I'm going to work with you, Joanne Wood. Then okay. Um, so with this with this lovely lady, um, she really was a diamond, you know. And and I just get this sense of. I think you must have said that to her as well. Uh, you're a diamond. You there's some connection to that saying with this lady. Uh, you are you're a diamond. I'm just connecting to some more details as well. I'm also getting a name or something through. It feels like it's like the word like Ainsley or Edinburgh or it's like one of those words it's got an E but also like a like a LH and it kind of thing, like like the words sort of Edinburgh or Ainsley or or there's some kind of word like that coming. Um, okay, she always called you her diamond. Lovely, thank you for that. And as I say, there's this there's this other word. It feels like I'm kind of saying Ainsley. It feels like um, what it's some kind of word that kind of looks similar. Oh, it is that word. I just need to give you that as well coming forward, the, the word like Ainsley or Edinburgh or uh, it's something kind of, Ely, okay, thank you. And you know, it was like, an, it had like an E and a Y and an L, an L so yeah, that, that makes complete sense. Thank you for that. Uh, so that was just coming forward from her as well. Um, also as a connect to her too, I'm drawn, she's drawn me to a ring now as well, um, as I'm connecting to her. Um, and as I'm connecting to this ring, I'm actually seeing a beautiful ring. Um, and I'm seeing the top of the ring being like a biggish stone. And I'm feeling that it's got some smaller stones. Um, okay, thank you for that. Thank you for that, Joanne. Thank you. I'm seeing some sort of like a biggish stone in the middle. And I'm seeing some smaller stones around the outside of this ring. Um, she's just... I'm not quite sure whether it's gold or it's actually a silver, more, more of a silver colour. But um, I'm definitely seeing the top of the ring uh, being this. It feels like it's, is it like a ruby or something uh, with, with like some small diamonds around it or something? It feels like a very beautiful ring. Um, I think you might know this ring that I'm talking about, but she's just bringing that forward too. The name Margaret has come forward as well. Um, now, whether or not this is her name, I actually feel it's actually one of her friend's names. Um, but the, the name Margaret has come forward as well. So this is obviously connected around her. So I need to give you that name too. And also, as I'm connecting to her too, I'm going to get more of her message for you now. All right, okay, Tony, right, okay. Okay, yes, that was her engagement ring, but it went missing. It was platinum with a large ruby and diamonds. Thank you for that, lovely. If you just showed me that ring, so um, you do know the ring that I'm talking about. Um, it, I feel we might have a double connection going on if, if Tony Wright can take all of this too. Um, so let me just give more information. I 
I just get a strong sense of her lovely energy being around you. Um, okay, it's a daughter, Margaret. Lovely. Thank you, Joanne, for that. I mean, Tony, can you take that name, Margaret, or not? If you could let me know. Um, Tony Wright, if you could let us know if you can take the name, Margaret. Um, let me just get some more information from her. I do have a strong sense of her energy being around you as well. So I do feel you've sensed this lady's energy around you. And when I'm, when I'm just aware of that, I actually feel you've been aware of her energy because I'm just trying to just connect when you when you felt her energy. And I'm feeling that actually you've been writing something down or something and you've almost like felt, you've almost looked up almost and felt you've seen her standing there, but then you looked up and there was nothing there. I feel like I need to say that to you as well, Joanne. And Tony, possibly, I'm not quite sure. We'll just see. But I just get this sense of you being aware of, of you feeling like almost you stood there, you looked up and then there was nothing there. Um, so I need to give you that as well, because she's around you with her lovely energy. Um, real beautiful energy, this lady. I need to say as well, I'm, I need... I've almost like kind of ended up drawing a heart with my pencil lines here. And I feel that that's almost like a sign from her of a big heart um, that this lady's got. And and with that, with her telling me about the big heart, that um, she's got me to give you all of her love as well from her. Um, and Tony, I know that you're also taking this as well. Um, okay, lovely. Thank you, Joanne. So... We do sometimes get this, a double connection, so I want you to both to take this message and, and know that they're right in the next Okay, thank you, Tony. Thank you for that. So, yeah, this looks like a double connection we've got tonight, which is a beautiful thing. Um, and that's what spirit do, because they're, they're able to, when they, cause when they need to get their message through, that's what they do. And so know that the, there's just so much love coming from these this lovely lady. She's got a really warm heart. Um, and just this sense of her warmth, actually, I'm feeling. And I know that she isn't in any pain or suffering. Um, she's actually going to bingo as we speak, is what she's doing. So she's having, she's actually a peace over the, in spirit. And she's, and just, I'm going to leave that with love and light. And I'm going to leave that with you both. Tony and Joanne and know that she's at peace and know that she's at rest and and she's she's fine over in spirit. She's she's I'm just getting this sense of like warmth from her now right now as I'm talking about that, you know, and just know that she's in that good place, okay? Um at peace and calm and not suffering in any way. So gonna leave that with love and light. I'm gonna hand back over to Heidi. To, wonderful to, uh, that was a beautiful message sam wonderfully done especially it's hard when you get two connections to go back and forth like that so beautifully done lovely messages i've got tina's reading here um and this is one of the most interesting feels to it i got really emotional while drawing this so i feel like you carry a lot of emotion tina i feel like you're putting that out you're feeling the world maybe more than you ever have before i felt like this was coming into the body like i could see it in the eyes i could see it around the face even moving through you like a blue energy if you can see see all of that, those beautiful colors. <clears throat> I got, originally, this started as a tree growing up, and it felt like this was very much connected to family energy. It felt like this was very much connected to this old energy and this way that it connected to you and it, this way that it was like an old you and how it was like cut down. And I thought that it was just this tree stump. And it kind of gave me this, this feel of wanting to sit on this tree stump and sit and contemplate and sit with this way that it was still rooted into the earth 
And this blue energy is coming up these roots, okay? And it connected back to this little baby sprig that was draw that was growing up, growing up all the way through you. And then these little petals of leaves just fell right out of it and it started to open up right out the top of your head. I feel like this was also connected to something in this throat space that's blue. I've got this light blue here. I've got it here in the eyes and I've got it coming in here in the ear. And when it comes in here in the ear, it comes in with a frequency. This might not sound like words this might sound like a melody or something you're familiar with but I got this feel like it was like music with little music symbols but this way that it was coming at you from one side and it had the same feel with this yellow and blue energy coming into the body and something about this because it just it got bigger and bigger this thing in the throat space I feel like it has something to do with truth Something to do with you connecting to truth, seeing truth, because you're seeing it through fresh eyes. This way that this has been cut and is growing back, it feels like a fresh start. It feels like new growth. It feels like it connects back to this way that um, life does, where it's this never ending. So something about tapping into that infinity or that um, consciousness of all from one growing from the other, um, it's like that. It's kind of like the tree of life. It's kind of like the infinity symbol where one is growing from the other. Um, and it also felt like it connected back to this yellow green that was in your aura. This yellow had this bright um, golden feel to it. It felt like it was falling on you like the sunlight because you can see it in these stretches in you, actually. And it has this feel almost like... Um, like a meditation or the way that you communicate with light or the way that light comes into you as a person. Awesome. Yes. And it, it does. It feels like that new beginning, that next chapter. I love that. Perfect, Tina. And there's this way that that light, it also felt like just the truest you. Like you are connecting. I even got goosebumps just saying that. That you're connecting with this truest sense of self. And it literally got me emotional. I had a couple of tears that I was like, it's like, yeah, you go, Tina. You got this. And when I say your name jumped out at me, I was, I could have done everybody that that's listed as a VIP, but I mean, I knew that you needed this affirmation. This is your message saying you are doing all the things. You might not be able to see all that growing, but it's happening. All these leaves are popping up and that tree is just going to keep growing just like you are. And it really connected to this dark green on the outside. And that dark green, like we were talking about with the image before that was a spirit portrait where that green felt like intelligence. And that green, this green feels like earth energy. This green feels like it has this confidence to it. And it really feels like you're coming into that. It's all right on the outside of your aura. People are seeing this. People are noticing this. When people stand close to you, this is something about your energy that people are picking up on, that you're reflecting that back to others. Just as this image is a reflection back for you, you're offering that to others. I think that this really connects back to that truth that you see, that you notice. And that is a gift. That is something you're still developing. I think you kind of see that, seeing things as they are and then being able to speak from that you have a gem right here in this throat space you got to talk more about your experience more about where you're coming from we need it it's healing to others um some of the things that you lived through because i feel like that way that this was cut and began again those are ways that I feel like are going to be healing for others, that you can help others be relieved of suffering just by living your truth and speaking of it. And if any of that resonates, I hope that you enjoy. Yay. Thank you. Awesome. I really appreciate that, Tina. Perfect. Awesome. And I do. I love this imagery. I've never had anything like this. It's every single one of these is so different. And this, it just had such a lovely feel. I just feel like I want to say I'm proud of you, Tina. You got this. And I would love to do another one of these for one of our VIPs if we have enough time. Let's do a joint one again. I love it. 
I'm yeah, having so much fun. fun. How about you, Sam? Definitely, Sam. So, yeah, it's great. <laughs> well, I think you guys have an opening in a couple weeks. We'll just take that slot. <laughs> We've got somebody that's recovering from an illness, so we'll happily do what we can to keep that energy moving in a positive way out there. Yeah, would you guys, would you like that? Would you like to see some more spirit art? Sam and I getting together, having the fun, as something regular? Producer Richard is asking, you know, would, we, would, you like, would you guys like a regular show? Of us two together, spirit art and mediumship. Do let us know in the comments. Let us yes. know your thoughts. <laughs> so we're going to do another joint reading, everybody. Yes. Okay, then. So we're going to just bring spirit in. Our spirit to come forward. Okay, so I'm just going to invite spirit forward then. Okay, then. So. As I'm first connecting to spirit, I'm just, I'm aware of a male energy. I am definitely aware of a male right now. I definitely feel him. I had a male immediately right when you, right before you said that. So I think yeah. you've got the same person. Um, with this man that I've got at the moment, I've actually got shortish hair with this man at the moment. Um, and it's feeling like shortish, sort of brown colored, darkish hair. At the moment, I'm seeing this man. Um, I think he's shown himself younger than when he passed, though, actually. I think he's, he's we're coming back a few years with this, when he's appearing. Um, I'm feeling that, I'm just seeing a shortish hair with this man. I'm seeing a jumper as, as well that he's wearing. I'm aware of a jumper. Uh, I'm not seeing the colour of it at the moment. I'm just aware of a jumper that this man is wearing. Um, Let's just get some more information. So I feel that this man, when he got older, he did have some difficulties. And I feel, I want to say, some health difficulties um, around this man that I've got at the moment, which is why I feel that he has actually shown himself a bit younger than that. Um, I just feel he had his health issues around him as he got older. I'm just get some more information. September's coming forward connected to him as well. Um, and the name Gary has come forward as well. Now, this might not be his name. It might be connected around him. Um, but September and Gary has come forward at the moment. Um, also, I get a feel... In terms of what this man did, in terms of what his interests were, I am actually seeing there's some connection to like uh, cars and motors and some connection to like I see still an engineering connection almost going on with this man. I just want to say cars I've seen with him. Um I think he he would have been happy to go inside of a car bonnet and sort it out. Um, also, let me get some more details as well. I'm just trying to bring him forward a little bit more. I think it is actually quite, I think your birthday is September. Gary's my ex-partner. Um, okay. Um, can you also, sounds like your dad, okay. Um, Lisa Mason. Can you take the thing with the, um, with the cars from him as well? Um, I'm just getting a sense of him. Not you with a car thing. Okay, well, um, let me just leave that car thing with you because it is obviously bringing that for a reason. So I don't know whether you've had like car troubles or, or there's someone around you had car troubles because it's definitely bringing forward the sense of, of looking in an engine for some reason. So I do need to honor spirit. Um, Catherine, okay, Catherine, can you take the car thing as well, Catherine? Um, I'm 
Okay. Um, let's just keep working for the moment. You can't take the card. That's okay, that's fine. I will leave that with you anyway, because Spirit's obviously giving it me for a reason, so I always honour Spirit in that sense, so let me give you, leave that car thing with you. Mary, you can take September Garrett and the mechanic. Ah, oh, okay. I think we might have found who we're with. Um, Mary Gard Gardiner, I think it, we're with, because she's taking everything at the moment. Okay, so yeah, because I am definitely getting a sense of him not being afraid to go in a car. And there's a reason why he's doing that. Um, this is obviously more of a detail about this man that's important. Um, I also feel as well the sense of this man not actually being that confident as well. I, I do get a feel of him not being out there completely. I just get a feel of him being not overly confident. The reason why I'm saying that is that he's not overly confident with me right now. He's taking a little bit. Okay, so Tony Wright, we might be with you again. Right, well, stay with us, Tony. Um, Gary in his birthday, September, his granddad's done engineer. We're possibly with a few again. Um, okay. That's fine. We'll, we'll work this out. Who, yeah, who is, can anybody also take the picture um, connected to this man? Particularly, I'm talking to Mary, Tony, and Casey. If you three could let us know whether you could take the picture or not, we might be able to really work out our exact connection who we're with. So I do feel we're either with Mary, Tony, or Casey. Um, so it's just a matter of working out where we are with that. So just let us know who can take this picture the most. Also, I do feel who can also take the fact that this person wasn't overly confident in themselves to sort of... Okay, was very... Oh, interesting. So, okay, so... Okay, then, so you can take that too. Um, can you take the picture, Mary, as well? We're just not you for the picture, okay? Tony or Kathy, if you could let us know. He wasn't overly confident. Okay, could you take the picture, Casey? We're just waiting to find out. We're just trying to find a connection, everybody. And then once we're there, we'll keep continue. Really? All right, okay. All right, okay, interesting. It's possible that we've got uh, two spirits coming. Um, it's true, I just thought of that. We could have two spirits. Yes, yeah, it's possible. So we have to always keep an open mind with what's going on. So Casey, can you take the picture? If Casey and Tony could let us know if you could take the picture or not, that would be very helpful if you don't mind. Looks like your ex partner, Gary, but not 100%. Okay. I'm not. Tony, can you explain a little bit more what you mean? Did, can you take the picture? This picture that Heidi's trying to now? So, Tony can take the picture. Okay. Okay. So, um, Casey, can you take the picture? I apologise if we're just working out exactly where this link is um, and want to try and place it correctly. That's why we're just trying to double check this is the one. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, possibly some feminine features, some feminine aspects. Okay, then, so I'm going to keep working. My partner is not sure what he looked like when he was younger. He was when he passed, and he remembers. So we kind of are either with Casey or Tanner or, or Tony. So we're going to keep working with you both, okay? Um, for now, um, it may be a double connection going on, so that's, I'm fine with that. 
So let's just keep going. As I say, I'm definitely sensing that he's not overconfident because he's not overconfident with, with me coming forward like this. Um, and that's usually a sign that they weren't that confident when they were on earth as well. Um, let me just connect to him a little bit more. Yeah, there is this love of cards definitely coming forward with him. And I also need to say, I'm drawn to like, like a remote control red car um, as well. I'm drawn to this remote, it feels like it's a red remote control car, quite a biggish remote control car. And I feel he would have had it. And I feel it's got like a back spoiler. And I'm seeing some kind of like sponsorship stickers on the side of it um, with like black windows, um, like kind of car shit, that's terrible, isn't it? I'm getting a remote control car that's car shit. Um, but it's not an estate car, it's like a regular car, um, is what I'm trying to say, okay? Um, whatever regular cars are like. Um, so I'm, I'm just being aware of that. I think he might have had this when he was younger. Uh, but he's definitely, as I'm talking about this remote control car, his energy is getting a bit stronger too. So I feel he may well have had like this kind of remote control car when he was younger as well. And um, he's definitely bringing that forward as, as a thing that he loved and he remembers. Um, okay, he brought on for the lovely. So I'm definitely with you, Tony, okay? Um, I'm definitely just aware of this remote control car. Um, it was actually, it wasn't cheap. Definitely, it was actually a really well-made remote control car. Um, he's bringing that forward as, as a memory of, of something that he definitely really loved when he was younger. Um, he's been saying he brought him for his brother, but I actually, he liked it as well, because he, he's definitely bringing it forward to me with a lot of, he's definitely like, he thought a lot of it. So I think he must have spent a lot of money on it. And and it was a significant gift, you know. Um, I think he wanted it himself, even though it wasn't for him. <laughs> I think that's what I'm getting. So he may well have said it after he gave it as a gift. But um, he wishes he'd have bought it himself. Um, and in spirit, he's sort of playing with it now. So he's got one in spirit now. <laughs> also, let me just bring some more information forward from you from him. You need to you do need to know that he is at peace. Um, you need to know that um, in spirit, he, as I say, he's like playing with this remote control car. He's he's smiling. He, he's fit and healthy in spirit. So. I don't know if this is related to how he's passing, but the sense of of when he passed, it, it's like, yeah, you say lots of money. Okay, thank you. I just get a sense of, of when he passed, he really wasn't fit and healthy. So there must have been something just before he passed that, that happened to him that, that caused a lot of worry, I think, and actually caused a lot of, of questions whether... That passing was a gentle one, and I need to say that he passed over to spirit, and he's at peace now, and he's out of pain. He's in no pain at all, um, and he is very much happy now, with calm and at peace. You know, um, you do need to know that, Tony. Oh, his car was the same as the remote one. Lovely stuff. Thank you, because because there was a reason for him bringing it forward. Okay, thank you for that. Lovely. So just do not sorry. Yeah. So I'm just gonna as I've just given you is the message from do know that he's at peace and um is is he's just smiling and he's definitely at peace and in no pain. And he's also around you with all of his love, okay? So and also I'm gonna leave that with light and love, and there's a beautiful picture also um, that Heidi's done there. I don't know if you say anything, Heidi. Oh, that was awesome. I definitely felt that that lack of confidence, that kind of worry that came across his face. And it was that uh, that that manly feeling like 
the person with the remote cars or he had that kind of like manly vibe. And then I got these wonderful blues and greens at the bottom of him. So that was really cool. Awesome. I love this stuff. Well, listen, I'm afraid we've reached our time, I'm afraid, everybody. In fact, we've overrun, actually, I think. But thank you very, very much. First of all, thank you to Richard, um, who's our lovely producer in our ear. Yes, <laughs> thank, thank you, you Richard. Richard. Thank you to um, Veronica and Heidi as, as, as well, and Terry, sorry, as well, um, for, for doing all of the work behind the scenes, making everything run so smoothly. <laughs> You guys are awesome. And I'd like to say a huge thank you to Heidi. It's been a pleasure to work with you tonight, Heidi. Oh, it was uh, so much fun, Sam. Yeah, yeah. Thank you thank so you much, much, Sam. I love getting to spend time with you. It's a delight. I hope we get to do it again soon. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's been a pleasure. It really has. And thank you, everybody in, that, in chat. Thank you to all those VIPs. But I'd also thank you to all those first-time watchers. Um, it's been a pleasure to see you all. I hope you've enjoyed the show, everybody. Okay, and I will post these to my page, or anyone is welcome to email, and I'll email them to you for higher quality. But I'll go ahead and post these to so anyone that got a drawing tonight. Um, it'll be posted on that page, and I will share that to Sam's page. On the SVTV fan page. Yeah. So all the, they'll all be posted on the SBTV fan page. So look out for that. Um, and thank you very much, everybody. See ya. So good night. Night. So good night, everybody. Take care, and we'll leave you with lots of love and light. Thank and you healing. so much. Yeah. Thanks for everybody being here tonight. Having fun with, with us.